Local food, music, wine, and beer 2018 Farm to Fork Festival kicks off today, feeding the region everything fresh. Ashley has more now. Okay, did you find her? No. And we, seriously, we had like a whole team of people looking. We went to the command station. We had everybody asking around. They couldn't find her. So have them email, and hopefully we can go shoot her when we're done with this segment. But you just said it. We're talking eating fresh, everything healthy. Right now we're in the Rayleigh's vendor, um, in the Rayleigh's booth, rather. It's beautiful, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Rayleigh's is one of the most popular booths that they have here every single year. I have Chelsea. Chelsea, why do people love coming to Rayleigh's, specifically at Farm to Fork? You know, you can get the best fresh products here. Uh, we've got a series of our local uh, farmers, as well as some of our even center stores. Items like local chips, cliff bars, local honey, and olive oil. And now I'm hungry. Yeah, now I'm officially hungry. You I love the idea of farmers market. So it's nice to know that you could come and grab food, but then also stop at like kind of a real farmers market and get fresh produce. Yeah, pick up your seasonal squash, maybe some of your early pumpkins for your front yard. We've got it all. And what's so good about this uh, particular booth, you guys, is they have several different activities. To my left, they have an activity for kids, and then to my right, you guys are doing these flower crowns, which I love. It's very Coachella. Yes. <laughs> As we. Should very crown you. Yeah. Crown me. And then I'm assuming all the flowers on my head are fresh, right? These actually were made in our Natomas, D.C. by our produce department. What? So everyone is individual and unique, and they're perfect for today's festivities. Is this red? Does this match my jacket? It's more pink, but I think it, I think it works. We'll roll. We'll roll. Thank you so much, Chelsea. We're going to keep on walking, you guys. So if you don't get a chance to check out Rayleigh's Vendor, which you absolutely will because you can't miss it, you can come over and get some bread, which is funny because when you think about bread, most people don't necessarily think about healthy, but this is a little bit different. What's so great about the Upper Crest, uh, the Upper Crest Baking Company is that everything is local. Everything. This is Lawrence here. I'm sorry, Lauren. Lauren. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Let's talk about the bread that you have here. I mean, my seriously, I just want to grab everything and run away. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, so we, we use a lot of local ingredients. We're uh, about 85% of our ingredients are sourced locally. Um, we work with the California Grain Campaign to support uh, local uh, small family farms, uh, heritage grains. Uh, we use uh, local miller millers as well, mm -hmm. um, and a uh, uh, lot of local ingredients. We've got we go to about 50 farmers markets every week in okay. the in the high season, and through that experience, we've made great connections with farmers and sure. agricultural producers. So we source a lot of our ingredients from them and uh, produce a lot of a lot of breads and other sweets that uh, is, are great. This is so fantastic. And again, this is so great for the economy. I was talking to somebody earlier. People from across the country are now starting to come to Farm to Fork. Again, we have people from New York, the East Coast, all coming in, whether it's to see the bands or to eat fresh and local. Thank you so much. I'm going to grab this to go, yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> with pleasure. Yeah, that's our birdseed bread, wow. nine grain walnut raisin with toasted sesame yes, seeds. There we go. Local flour. I did takes the stuff. I, I, thank you. He's friends with Michael Marks, too, by the way. He says hi. Hey, okay, Ashley, there you go. Farm to Fork today is your final day, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yes. We're getting some emails and people posting on social media asking if their dogs are allowed to come to Farm to Fork. Is it pet friendly? Hey, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. This is so live television. Can dog come? Yes, there we oh, go. Yes. Okay. I love a good live shot where you can yell across the street. But they need and ask to be somebody. on a yes, leash. Yes, dogs can come. Dog bring friendly. The bag. Yeah. Yes, leash them up. Bring a baggie. Exactly. All right, okay. guys, back over to you. And earlier, we were saying, did you find the girl? And, and the girl was. Uh, yeah, it's um, a girl who goes to Rosemont High School, yeah. and they're making noodles out there. And so I think it's her dad who emailed in and said, "Hey, go look for her." Right. But, and Ashley's having a hard time finding yeah. her. So if you see her and see Ashley, say hi. Oh, hook them up together. <laughs> New at ten puppies.